I recently checked out the Akiref channel on Discord. Picked it late, posted a link titled Man in Detroit steals 800 gallons of gas using Bluetooth. And right after that, he quotes it. Wait until they realize people now know the electric vehicle charging NFC card authenticate by UIV only. Wait, is this real? If that is the case, here the UID is a unique identifier for the NFC chip. I was thinking I could check this out with the Flipper Zero. To get a bit context, let's see how my full provider works. So I have an application where I could like select a charging station or I could use my card. My card is already activated, of course. Here I'm going to find a charge point, plug my card and use my Flipper Zero with the cloned card instead of my card and use it again when I want to end the charge and we're going to see if that works. I'm using the official application for NFC on the Flipper Zero to read the fuel card. Once the fuel card is dumped, I'm going to emulate it and I will bring this to the charging station. So here, instead of using my fuel card, I use the Flipper Zero and you could see the car is now charging. And later, you will see here, I'm using again the Flipper Zero, but to stop the charge. So for charging and stopping, it's still working exactly with the same dump load everything of course i don't want you to get my uib and charge for free so let's check if it's really that thing so i have opened the dump on my pc and here is the thing picked it mate is right the uid from the card which is on top is also present on block zero as data so here is the thing the charging station is using the card UID to authenticate you and then it's on the fueled company database. We have seen this could be pretty serious. So what are the countermeasures to protect yourself for any theft? First one, you could get rid out of the card. So having no card in your wallet makes it really difficult for anybody to copy it, right? Second solution, you could use your mobile application. The on downside here I see, if you're running out of battery on a phone, how could you charge your car anymore? So last but not least, I think you should use a RFID blocker, then you could still manage to have your card but in a protected environment and still use your phone for any other activities. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming experiments.